What's up my people? Bless up on yourself. Welcome back to the channel. Leave a like and also subscribe to the channel and click the top bell icon to get notified whenever there is anything new on the channel. So my people may have some things I'm gonna share with you guys. So the first thing I'm gonna get into is a stabbing of one in a Manchester. One man drop out and one injured. See? Lawmen assigned to the Mandeville police arrested and charged Oshin Clark, otherwise called Boom Boom, of Savoy, Manchester, with the murder of McLaughlin, otherwise called Rice Bag, and the injuring of another man on Main Street in the parish on December. The police said Clark has also been charged with wounding with intent. Reports from the police are that about 1 a.m. an argument developed between the three men leading to an altercation. A knife was reportedly brought into play and McLaughlin and the other man were stabbed several times all over their bodies. Both men were taken to the hospital where McLaughlin was pronounced dead and the other man was treated and later released. Clark was arrested during a police raid and interviewed in the presence of his attorney where he was charged with the offense. His court date is being finalized, the police said. So we can bet you them two money. Yeah? We get the tab up and the man will do the stabbing. Them did a friend. Seen? Because majority of the time when you hear argument and altercation, a friend and a friend. Because you know say a very few times. You know what I mean? A man maybe got trouble somebody with him. Not really friends with, unless him a look trouble. You see me? So he could have start out as well, look a reasoning, and it turned out in a this. People, walk away from an argument if you can. You know what I mean? I just shut your mouth and make the other person. Because it takes two to quarrel. You know what I mean? And back and forth, back and forth with words, it will lead to something else. You know what I mean? So if you can walk away, I just shut up and say nothing, do that. You know what I mean? R.I.P. to the man who drop out. You know what I mean? Condolences to his family. The police, them all up on the culprit. You must go face whatever you must go face. You see me? So we are going to move on, people. 11 year old boy John in Raya Cobra. The body of 11 year old boy was retrieved from a section of the Raya Cobra in Bagwak St. Catherine on Wednesday. The boy is suspected to have drowned in the river the previous day. The deceased O'Brien Gooden, otherwise called Dante, of Shenton District in Bagwak reports are that about 4.20 p.m. on Tuesday O'Brien was among a group of children swimming in the river when he got into difficulties and reportedly drowned. The police were alerted a search was carried out but it was not until about 10.45 a.m. a day later that this body was retrieved from the river. The Bagwak police are probing the incident. So right here, so people, Jano Star, mostly holiday you find them things you're up, you know. And of them look up picnic, them stray from them yard because them have no school or gun or nothing. Them hide and stray from them yard and go out with friends because I don't hear them mention about no family or whatever. You see me I say? So Jano Star, maybe the river they close to him and him go there with friend and I saw him end up drop out. Janu Star, R.I.P. to him. Condolences to his family. You know what I mean? But Janu. So, people who don't have to monitor on the youth, them real close in you know, the holiday season. You see me? I say, so, we are going to move on, my people, to over in you know, St. Catherine. Protests in Tarspen, Tars Meadows, St. Catherine, after police killing of bar owner. Cops in St. Catherine have increased their presence in Tar Meadows, Spanish Town, as residents this morning mounted roadblocks to protest the fatal shooting of a man in the community by the police. The residents have accused the police of killing Donald Brown in cold blood. The police say a team went to a bar in Tar Meadows where they attempt to arrest the owner. A struggle reportedly ensued and Brown was shot and pronounced dead at hospital. The police say the raid started last night after a businessman was abducted by thugs who demanded a million in ransom. The businessman was released unarmed by the thugs. This morning, upset residents took to the street to protest the fatal shooting by the police. And people, a lot of times we see enough of them things are going on in Jamaica where man gets shot in an area and the people them come out 
and I see a cold blood, the police shoot them in and them talk about things. And sometimes the people them them come protest for you find out say a criminal them. You know what I mean? Everybody deserve a fair trial. You know what I mean? And if you got court go prove whether guilty or innocent. You see me I say. So now for the time, some of the police them we do some things out of the confine of the law. You see me, I mean what say in the come I probe this, you know what I mean? They might investigate this because in the confirm because some of the police them did a go rogue and I kill people and I go on with a bag of things. You know what I mean? So in the come I go investigate this. But so most of the time when I see them something, I made up on the fence. I know they on the police side, not the resident side, because I know how the resident can get when even if the person a criminal will get killed. And you know have some police where we do some things more while well. you know what I mean. So I want to tell more I think in the comment section with people, and we are gonna move on. See, so police them say a man wanted for two decades, you know, get whole lamp and finally after them dip him. You see me? So let me share a story with Uno. The St. Catherine Soul Police have arrested and charged a man who has been at large for over 20 years. Right? He is Anthony Reed. And him go by a couple other names, including Barrett. You see me? I said, them same come from Marley Acres in Olaba St. Catherine. Right? The accused was charged last evening for the murder of then Dinsdale Eslop of Amberley Close, Portsmouth in Portmore, St. Catherine. Rince was stabbed and killed at a bar in Northern Parade in Portsmouth on December 2000 at 10 p.m. The accused allegedly later fled Jamaica to the United States of America. On December 2023, he was dipped after serving time in prison in the U.S. Upon being returned, to the island he was taken into custody interviewed and charged for the decades old crime crime officer for the st catherine south division deputy superintendent angling has vowed to go after criminals who have been eluding investigators for years so people let me know what you guys think in the comment section so we are gonna move go over to westmoreland where a man get killed you see me, a farmer is dead and another man injured following an armed robbery at a bar in Ashton District in Westmoreland on Thursday night. The deceased has been identified as Alfred Buckridge from the community. Reports from the Savlamar police are that about 10.55 p.m. Buckridge was among other patrons at a bar when armed men proceed to rob them. So, them say, Buckridge and the next man try to take with themselves, but them couldn't make it. The man them after them, you know what I mean, and calm them up. Janu, the police were summoned and the injured men were taken to hospital where Buckridge was pronounced dead. Investigations are ongoing. So, people, just let me know what you think in the comment section. Remember to like, subscribe, and click the top bell icon. Bless upon yourself and thanks for watching again.